Revelation 449, from the 3rd of June 1938. Book of Life, Summarizing Commandments The Lord lets every minute of your life pass you by in a way decisive for eternity. Everything that you do and think is recorded in the Book of Life so you must always be mindful to fill page after page of this book with good works and good thoughts. You are responsible for all your actions and deeds. But if this always corresponds to the will of God, then an undreamed of bliss will be the reward of your deeds and your walk on earth. Therefore pay attention, never let your neighbor ask in vain but give and fulfill any request that touches your ear as far as you can. Respect no man, however lowly he may be, and give him the respect due to him before God. Be a counselor to your fellow man in physical and spiritual need, if he goes astray on his path of life or finds it difficult to come to God the Lord. Always forgive them from your heart what they do to you, and do not think of retribution because the Lord alone is doing this, but you shall love your enemies as well. Remain humble in heart, and always recognize the infinite greatness and love of the Heavenly Father, which is inclined towards the smallest beings of creation, including you, to draw you to himself. Remain united in deepest love with your Heavenly Creator, and beg him in prayer for his grace and his blessing on all your paths of life so that you may grow in strength to be active according to his will. Practice gentleness, peaceableness and mercy, for only through these can you become a child of God and as such be able to hear the voice of the Lord. Recognize how everything around you longs for salvation, and be ready to help where hearts need to be opened for the salvation that comes from the word of God alone. Commemorate with all love the deceased, who, like you, are striving for perfection. Give them through prayer the strength and support they need. All this can bring you into a state of mind that the Lord's work on you is visibly expressed, because only those who can receive divine grace in all its fullness, because they make themselves worthy of it, will also receive the grace of the visible work of the Lord. If the Lord can sojourn in a heart that has formed the love for God and fellow man in such a way that the pages of the book of life record only ever noble and good deeds and thoughts. The Lord will cancel the guilt or revenge, depending on whether the earthly child has turned to him or not. Therefore seek to ennoble yourselves where you can, and to walk the way on earth pleasing to the Lord, that you may not be judged but have eternal life. Amen.